Hi everyone, V here, and welcome to I Want Hot Dog Gator. And honestly, are you even surprised? You knew that this was gonna happen, I knew that this was gonna happen. So, yeah, it was, it was only normal that I would continue with visual novels, especially that apparently this takes place in the same city, so we'll see. Also, before I start, I want to say that uh, between Snoot and this game, I went through a rather serious hardware upgrade, so all my previous settings and everything went to went down the drain, so to say. So I'm still trying to iron out the kinks and stuff like that. Uh, I hope that I managed to set it up properly, especially when it comes to microphone and so on. I really hope that uh, I will sound at least as good or better than previously, but I'm still uh, looking for any feedback, so if you have anything to comment on, please do let me know. And I really do not want to start this game because just the splash screen alone looks so nice and I feel like this is going to be a punch to my feels. Ah, okay, let's start. And I'm still going to read everything. September 4th. Year? That weird format 2023 BC. Amid the arid heat of the morning sun of Volcaldera Bluffs, so that's the same city, I can't help but miss living in the more temperate weather of the Midwest. Summer sleeves are in style this year. That jacket's aroma block better be right. This sweat thing is killing me. Well, at least it's guaranteed to start getting chillier in a few weeks. Besides, I'm sure to make an impression with this. Amber Crowby and Flint is all the rage these days. I wouldn't know, I am not the fashion type. So, if there is a reference to a clothing brand or something like that, this will definitely go right over my head. Though I definitely see that stuff looks prettier, and I also really like the idea of I'm assuming this is either... Okay, this is a metro, okay. So I really like the idea of greenery being all over the place. It looks cozy. I sigh and lean back in the hot plastic seating of the metro. I'm on my way to my first day in a new school. Ordinarily, I'd just be glued to my phone on the trip, but there's just too much on my mind right now. My folks sit requires us to move frequently, which gives me a little time to fit in. Much like how a rolling stone gathers no moss, I could never make a friend I'd keep for longer than a year. Just a lot of promises to keep in touch that petered off within months. Okay, for a moment I was worried that the dude also pulled a rock bottom. Admittedly, it's my fault in the end. But that's all going to change, starting today. I'm going into senior year now. It's my very last chance to prepare for the world ahead. Luckily for me, the cards are stacked in my favor. I feel around my backpack for my DSLR, till my fingers can absentmindedly fill with a mode dial. Okay, so the dude is a photographer, and definitely doesn't feel like that much of a insecure guy as uh, I don't I don't know if this guy is also called like that or is the new name but there's definitely a little bit more confidence in this dude just from what I read so far okay St. Helen High School is extremely well known for the artist curriculum in other words I'll be surrounded by people that share my interests even if it's a bit of a right away Speaking of rides, I was hoping that my parents could drive me there today. By the time I was up though, they already left for work. No big deal. I like the hustle and bustle of public transportation. I imagine I'm going to have to get used to this anyway. 
As time passes, my mind wanders to the memories of the previous schools. Okay. They all sucked. Lovely. Hey, I need to make the most of the situation I'm in, not get all sad like this. I need to do something like... What? No shit posting? Okay, take a selfie with a hobo next to me, I won't get stabbed. Thanks for clarifying. Get up and breathe in that fresh city air. I love how this requires disclaimers. Remain seated and do nothing with... Okay, I feel like inhaling the entire periodic table, so let's take a whiff. I'm interrupted by the ding of the terminal board, and the car gradually starts coming to a stop. I step off the metro, heading out of the station as I follow a few other students heading towards the school. Okay, one moment. I want to take a look at the graffiti. Okay, a ton of tags. The immortal Stussy, of course. Fuck you, Evelyn. Someone too dumb to even draw that symbol, okay? It's over. Okay. Only enough, I'm only seeing dinosaur students, not only human to be seen anywhere. Must be one of those dino heavy regions. There's a lot of greenery here as well. You'd almost forget how close we are to a major city. I mean, I thought that Volpo there was a massive city. That might be wrong. The pathway leads to a stone bridge that goes over a small creek. As I walk across, I notice other students meet in pairs and walk with each other. The air begins to fill with the sounds of laughter and stories of how their summer break went. I'm getting very flashback vibes right here. Ah, there it is. The school peeks out over the trees ahead of me, as though inspecting and welcoming me inside. St. Hammerheim, my new home away from home for the next year. I stop to take a deep breath. The air here is crisp, reminding me of an old campground I went to back in elementary school. Once again, I'm handed an opportunity to make something of myself. I'm apprehensive, but hopeful. Yeah, this dude is definitely not as insecure as we were previously. It's my last shot at this. There is no going back. I take my first step onwards. Here we go again. Okay. Judging from that shot, it's still a lanklet, but at least now it's swag because those shades look good on him. Students mill about the front yard. This school is known for its heavily prioritized art programs. And I can admit it looks really nice. Kinda makes me wish my old school looked like this. Over two-thirds of the graduates end up pursuing a career in the arts. And while half of them regret it from what I heard, there's still plenty that made it, right? I mean, I believe there is a varying level of regret, no matter which career you decide to take. So, there's that. It's also the management's claim to shame, with the facade on the front entrance being dominated by a vibrant mural. I get a good feeling about this place. A few students eyeball me as I continue walking in. Some friends whisper to each other. I just knew this jacket would pay off. Oh, I don't think this is the jacket, dude. The front doors are propped wide open, and I already feel the cool breeze inviting me in. Inside is a familiar yet brand new sight. Okay, everything here actually looks pretty darn lovely. 
I love how these dinosaurs look. I hadn't mentioned it yet, but this school is also unique for its student body. It's composed almost entirely of dinosaurs, all manner of saurian, herbivores, and otherwise. Scales, feathers, tails. Is that a tether? They look pretty damn awesome though. Wings, talons, and webbed hands. Not to even mention the colors. All vibrant enough to challenge the bright murals on the school outside. Okay, one moment. Dozens of students march about reconnecting with past trends and meeting new ones. Okay, this one is probably covered by me, but let's take a look. I'm really curious. Well, first thing first, I love the hair. And I wonder what kind of head plate is this. No idea what kind of a dinosaur that would be. This, I thought, a raptor, but no feather tails. I mean, no tails, on, uh, no feathers on the tail, sorry. But these two. Like the bowl cut, purple gloves, that ginger, is that fucking Dexter and Mandark? Because if yes, what are they doing in an art school? Some anxiously glance at their schedules, checking every door as though they were numbered at random. I probably shouldn't be standing here staring. Wow, is that a human? Whoa, oh. Oh, love the expression. I am soon surrounded and overrun by a crowd of neon colored teenagers. Clearly, my jacket is working like a charm. Oh my god, this dude is socially inept. Or, not, or at least, maybe not inept, but toned. Dude, you are the only skinny in school. Wow, he's like a life-size ma mannequin. Hey, new kid. Is... Is this what it's like to be popular? No, that's like to be the odd one out. I really wasn't expecting it to happen this quickly. A few students are taking pictures with their phones. I even see some with sketchbook and pens and hat rapidly scribbling on pages. Wow, a human. Are you like a foreign exchange student? In a chaos, I feel a few people touch my hands. Wow, human skin feels weird. Jeez, a bit uncalled for. I wonder what is going to click for him or... As flattering as this attention is, I have to back off a bit. Go along with it. Okay, now sorry, personal space. Oh, it's not that bad. There's so much happening, and I don't want to be a party pooper. Okay, suit yourself. A few more people shout at me to get my attention. Hey, could you look over there for a side profile? Oh man, yes, this will be good reference material. Wait, wait, I need to get a better look at his skin texture. I wonder if we are completely oblivious to being basically a freak show right now, or... Like, so far it seems like we are the only human in the school, so, yeah. I once again find myself frozen, only muttering quietly as I hastily try to follow their instructions. Eventually, all the Zorians take their photos and talk themselves out before dispersing back to their own friend groups. By the time I recover from the shock of the situation, the last one breaks off and I find myself seemingly all alone again. Oh, that was my chance to socialize. I don't even think that was a chance to socialize. I don't even think it was that, honestly. I blew it. Nah, you didn't. Hello there. Um, you're human, right? I'm trying to base my voice on the looks, sorry, if it's... Wrong then... Well, no, then I'm not sorry. This is how I'll try to roll with it. I try to say that after the girl reads forward, scanning me up and down. 
This is it. Time to seal the deal and get a new friend. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. Close enough. Hey, can I, like, get a selfie with you? That'd be great for one of my classes. Yeah, definitely. She puts an arm around my back for her shoulder hug while she poses dramatically. Maybe a bit too friendly. Maybe a bit too oblivious. Big smile now. She takes the picture and checks it enthusiastically. So, uh, I'm in go. Huh? Oh, cool, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I gotta go. Oh. What's the photo for, by the way? She poses, aloofly chewing some gum. My fashion design class, that jacket is ballin'. Uh huh, okay. Thanks for the big con. Well then. I feel my shoulders sag as I take in the now sparse hallway around me. That must have been my 15 minutes of fame. I don't think it even lasted 15 minutes. But there's no way I've already blown it. I try to shake away the negative thoughts. Focus on the positive. For a brief moment, I was the talk of the school. Uh, not for the reasons you'd want to. Yeah. Okay. The familiar sound draws my attention. I know what that is. It's the shutter. At the end of the hall, there's someone kneeling. And it's one of the latest camera models, if I'm not mistaken. Hey! The guy flinches. I flinch too. I had meant to shout at him. The few students around me don't bat an eye at it, though. Hello there. Sorry about the yell. No, it's fine. I managed to get a shot I wanted. The bespectacled boy, I think he's a parasaur, double checks the camera's display and smiles. Okay, so... Yet another parasaur. I wonder if... He's going to be a Naomi or not? Let's see, color. Yep, perfect. This will be a fine print for the yearbook. Can I see? His grin seems to widen up my interest. Of course, here. He turns the display toward me, showing a shot of the hallway. And me as the focal point. Pretty good, right? I look a little closer and notice that... I think it's a little out of focus. And dark. What do you have your f-stop set at? Ash. He stops and glances up at me, pleasantly surprised to get a real answer. I mean, in a way, I guess that could be constructive criticism, so... I guess we can take it as a small win, okay. Yeah, I'm a bit of a photographer myself. I'm taking it as an elective too. With Mr. Yadakan? I'm assuming that's an I. Yadakan or Ayadakan? No, you know, I'm going to go with the pronunciation that my native language is telling me I'm going to go with Yadakan. Thinking back to my memorized class schedule, the name does sound familiar. Yep. Oh, snap, cool, we were classmates. Mr. Yadakan's busy, so he just teaches it for one period. He offers his hand out for a handshake. I'm Ben. Inko. Friend achieved. Okay, I'll give you that one. I'm actually new here. Kinda figured being the only human student this year and all. St. Hammond isn't one of the more popular schools, but the staff put a lot of effort into arts programs. Even the campus itself is designed like a living art piece, so if you ever need help... From the polls, I'm guessing he's offering some help. Nah, how did you figure? I wouldn't say no to a tour. A tour, you say? Well, I'm only going back to the principal's office, but I can point out some neat stuff along the way. He raises an eyebrow to himself in contemplation. 
might be a good idea to meet the principal too. He waits for me to follow him. Turns out he wasn't just an avid photographer like me, but also the school council president. Is there some kind of favoritism towards parasols? And one of his priorities was taking photos for the school's yearbook for the first day page. Every few minutes we paused so Ben could take a couple of shots, mainly of the students talking with each other. And while I would watch, I had considered helping him in some way. I mean, that camera looks amazing, and then there's all his extra lenses in the bag. I feel absolute elation to finally know someone that's into photography. Well, I mean, yeah, if you find someone who's into your hobby, that's... That's always a pleasant feeling. And I really want to broach it, but Ben fills the air between us, talking more about the school. Which is why we still go by the feather tails, even though I think it's a tad distasteful. Dang, you're pretty good at this. They give these tours to all the new students. Ha, <laughs> not really. Although it is something I've thought about a lot. Oh, hold on, thought. Hey, Lunara! Okay... Definitely a raptor this time, if I remember how Reed looked like, but I really like the facial features. That mask kind of reminds me of uh, either a raccoon or the stuff that the Beagle Boys in the Donald Duck comics used to wear. Ben goes to greet a student, putting up some intricate wall banners. Oh, hey Ben! You have a good summer vacation? I did! Great work on the decorations, they look even better than last year's. Oh, thank you! What's all this for? She steps aside so I can fully view the banner she just finished with. Cultural Arts Club! We meet every Thursday after school and look at antique artwork. She'd initially look past me to talk with Ben, but she gasps once she realizes. Hey, you're a human, right? Uh, yeah. At least it's good we haven't been called a skinny once since we arrived, so... Ah, that's a silly question. You should totally join. And that expression is cute. I just love human culture. There's this amazing set of ancient masks at my place from ancient Europe. I just adore them. Ancient Europe? Okay, never mind. Wow, that's impressive. I think you'd make a good curator. You know what? I probably would. After that club display during Spirit Week last year, I gotta agree. We spent weeks studying that tribe and weeks more practicing those dances. We also study and paint with those styles like we're learning the techniques of the old masters. Hopefully soon we can even get into sculpting like those old Venus statues. We plan on getting one to look at something this year. What do you think? It'd be great if you could come. Hey, that'd be neat. What say you, Inko? I mean, the offer is generous, okay. Hmm, maybe. I do love culture. Oh, that's great. Oh, listen, we have this old chieftain's dress we've had for ages. We just have to see what it looks like on the real thing. No, not in a million years. I'm not putting that shit on. Uh, I'll think about it. No way, I'd sooner endure a second impact event than wear something like that. I'm with you on that, dude. Well, hey, nice to catch up, Lara. We got places to be. Take care. Bye. She waves us off and Ben continues leading me to the principal's office. Hey Ben. Oh, hey Michael. Listen, can't talk now, but I'd love to catch up later, yeah? I'm floored. This guy seems to know just about everyone in school as much as they know him. Talk about being on top of things. He points out, he points out a few more minor landmarks in the school and stops to greet the numbers of students happy to see him after the summer break. Man, sorry for having to stop so much. No way, I think it's cool you know everyone. If only it could be cool without making us late. He notices a few more noteworthy landmarks, eventually leading me to its biggest draw. 
Okay. I already knew that this place was known for art, but wow. Just outside the administrative offices, the hallway is filled with wonderful pieces of work. Paintings line the walls with name placards beneath detailing who the artists were. All created by alumni and attending students of the school. And this is the guard. All of these pieces have been featured in all kinds of articles and presentations. Whoa. I know, right? One moment. Ben turns to the nearest door and gives it a polite knock. Who is it? It's me, Principal Scaler. Okay. I'm bracing myself for impact. And I'll be after, no older than her mid-thirties exit the room, holding a steaming mug and sporting a tired smile. Okay, this is not what I expected, but... The first impression is good. Good morning, Benjamin. Also, I love that mug. Good morning. Inko, this is our esteemed principal. Good morning, ma'am. Her eyes shoot wide mid sip of her, of her coffee. Oh, I had noticed. You would be Mr. Gnito, yes? What? Uh, yes, but my name. How wonderful! Okay, that's a cute smile, but first, did the cat on this mug change its expression? Wait, let's. Yep, it did. That's cute. How wonderful. God is the exhaustion on her face, instead replaced with a very wide smile. I am so happy that you've chosen our school for the last year, Mr. Nitu. She has no idea how to pronounce our last name, okay. Then be sure to give him a thorough St. Hammond welcome, okay? Uh, I already was. If you ever need any assistance, my office is always open, Mr. Me Too. <laughs> That's adorable in a way. Not to mention the student council is also available for help. Isn't that right, Ben? Yes, Principal Scalar. Thank you, Principal Scalar. Oh, and Ben, a moment, please. But... No buts. The Parasaur is dragged into the office, leaving me alone in the school garden. Whatever they say, I can't hear over the ambient noise of the student body. Either way, it's probably not something I'm meant to hear. I mean, I could eavesdrop, but that would make me look like a dick. I move a few feet away, out of earshot of the discussion inside. On the wall beside me is a framed panoramic landscape of the city, painted by hand. Oh wow! And I knew it, Paul Caldera is a big city! Wow, I could practically use this thing as a map with how detailed it is. No wonder it's hanging so predominantly by the principal's office. The gentle brush strokes, the vibrant colors, the evening sun bouncing up each of the windows and the majestic scarlet sky enveloping the horizon. All of which combine together to give it a dreamscape feeling like it's an idealized version of the city. I mean, this stuff looks amazing. It's beautiful. I've never been a big admirer of paintings, but I can't deny that this is a masterpiece. Only a teacher could have been able to express the scenic beauty of the city with this level of skill and passion. Okay, I think I saw a plaque with a name over there. I would draw my cavern stone 60 from my bag, and with a compact lens I keep I barely fit the entirety of the painting in frame for the shot. Checking the copy of my display, I realize I left out the title and artist of the piece. The tag says Dreamscape. Artist O. Halford, Nilt Grade. First place, 2020. A freshman did this, jeez. Okay, I have no idea how grades and stuff work 
in that education system, I'm used to my own stuff, so... Now that I look at the rest of the paintings, this is insane. It's all so much better than what I've made. Almost all of the pieces are beautifully drawn. Acrylic, charcoal, pastel, and yet not even one photo. Hanko, I'm back. I'm a senior, how on earth am I meant to even start measuring up here? Inko? What's that sound? Okay. Ben would not just be back with the back of his hand as the commotion gets closer. Hey, watch it, jackass! Slow your roll, Letterface! My leg! I watch as the... Uh, Perpetrator? Aggressor? Aggregator? Finally rounds the corner and comes barreling down the hallway, speeding right towards us. My instincts kick in and I stumble to the side to avoid a coming collision. For just a split second, I get a good look at my assailant. Oh, wow. We are really good with the productions. This is like our introduction to Fang back in Volcano High, but cranked up to 11. Once again, freaking fitting music. And that stare, holy shit. Green scales, messy hair, and a faded purple hoodie. She propels herself forward with dexterous hands, spinning the large wheels on her. I only now notice that she's in a wheelchair. I didn't even know you could go that fast to one of those. She glances my way and her pupils lock out of mine. Her grey and gold eyes are marred by bags like she hasn't slept in days. The girl's entire presence is ghost-like. And that expression is... I don't even know how to say it, it's not even like, I don't like you, it's... I don't care about you, get out of my way. And that expression, it's like she's looking straight through me. I'm sure she barely registers my existence, but I don't think I'll ever forget her face. And once again, I love that music. Just as fast as she came, however, She's gone. As she leaves, I feel like a weight is lifted from my shoulders. At least until I trip directly into a glass case behind me. Careful. Hey, watch it! Whoops. The parasaur's hand rolls over the display carefully, his eyes filled with worry. You looking for something? Cracks. Usually when another student falls into them, there's some kind of crack or scratch. I guess it's just a dino thing. You humans are lucky you don't get a sweat over this kind of stuff. I mean, fair point. That happen often? Often enough to drain school funds and repairs. That can't be good. Well, not to brag, but I make do. Ah, the same bell. A vibrato chime echoes through the now empty hall. I freeze, tardy on the first day. Ha, whoops. Sorry to run on like that. You should get going to your first class. Won't I need a tardy slip or something? Nah, it's the first day. Teachers are lenient. I'm fine either way since, you know. Ah, one of the benefits of being class present. What's your first period? Physical education. Ben sucks the air in through his teeth in a prolonged wince. That bad, eh? You'll be fine. Gymnasium's down that way. Don't, uh, keep him waiting too long. I need to get going, too. Keep who waiting? I gotta go, too. Bye! Thank you?
Okay, so is the teacher some kind of drill sergeant or? Whoa, he walks fast when he has summer to be. That reaction doesn't exactly instill confidence in me. Yeah, I kind of understand. I follow Ben's directions toward the school gymnasium. After all, the earlier commotion is the first quiet moment to myself. Might as well take it to finally sort my thoughts. Let's see, what do I think of this place so far? It's certainly livelier than any of the other schools I've been to. Ever since I've stepped foot in here, everything has been so lively and everyone seems so exuberant. It makes me feel a little out of my depth since I'm so used to the opposite. Here, people like the girl earlier are eager to share their hobbies with almost to without being prompted. Everywhere else I've been, people just keep themselves, like they're only there because they have to be. It hits me. This school's art program attracts people. The students here don't have to be here. They're choosing to be here. That's why it's so active. I mean, that's a very fair point. That's a very fair point. I cannot argue with that. Well, alright. What can I do with this information? It means I can probably be friends with anyone I want, right? It doesn't work like that. Shared interests is not everything. Wait to say, but with everyone here sort of working with each other, there's bound to be an insane level of camaraderie too. Maybe I won't even have to try. I'm almost at the gymnasium now though, so I'll hold this thought for later. A gym class. Where the boys are separated from the men and where people with Herculean physics are able to show off their sculpted bodies. Not in a high school. I begin to remember how much I dreaded going to PE. Same. The innumerable bad experiences from past schools pair in comparison to the many skidded knees and broken glasses. In my case, we mostly played soccer and I was almost always the goalkeeper. I fucking hated it. Hopefully the school's PE is a lot less grueling. As I stand before the wooden double doors leading into the gym, I'm struck with how empty the area looks. That's followed by me catching the sound of physical activity coming from within the gym itself. Shoot, I really am late. Ben's earlier warning echoes in my head like a foreboding spirit. I peer through the small windows on the doors and see students standing shoulder to shoulder. Towering over them is a primate, who I can only guess is our gym teacher, with his arms crossed and scowl on his face. I hope I can get away with being tardy. As I walk into the- Holy fuck! Was that a dodgeball? My first thought is how lucky I am to be alive. I didn't even know what was thrown at me, but it might as well have been a cannonball. I spot the gym teacher and even, th even through his baseball cap, I can feel his stare of rage pierce my soul. Such intensity and that ideal throwing form. It only missed by centimeters. That was a warning shot. Oh, we are fucked. What? Just one glance at this dude and I'm getting the soldier from TF2 vibes. I don't know, and a shaking font, I don't know if I can make this voice justice, but I'm going to try my best. Okay, here it goes. Notice and note well done. I have a policy. Each of my platoons gets one free miss from me a year. And you just spent it. I shift my eyes to the students line up next to him and they're so stiff with fear that I can't tell what they're feeling. You got three seconds laid on the front of your squad why in the great name of KV Drocket you are late. Well, I... 
I have no idea what he did, but that sounded painful. He didn't move. Hint taken, I shut my mouth. The Simeon scholar starts marching back and forth like a drill sergeant. Listen up, because I'm only saying this once. In this place, we are in this class, we operate on tough love. We learn from our mistakes, so we better pray to after Jesus. You don't forget them, because if you do, with three monstrous steps, the coach closed the distance of ten yards to tower over me. I will be very upset. It reflects poorly on all of us, and that is not something I will accept. So I would love to see you, Maggot, succeed, but if you don't, I'll make it unforgettable. Am I understood? I nod my head in fear. Man, freaking fantastic! Now then, join the rest of your rats and stiffen up! Once I confirm my bladder is intact, I shuffle over to where my colleagues stand. Did I? Uh, yeah, we're off to a good start. I feel them staring at me with anger, like I'm responsible for the coach's teaching style. What an appalling first impression to make. I should just quit and start over somewhere else while I still can. The teacher takes a second to glance over us, reminding himself of where he was before I had interrupted. A turn, hop, maggots! You will all drop and give me 20 of the finest push-ups. Those gods best be an armed spot of that pristine gym floor or else. Okay, thankfully I don't have to whistle. With a violently loud blow of his whistle, the coach also takes his position to show the proper technique. I hide my wins as my knees impact roughly on the ground. The real pain starts as I try to keep pace with everyone around me. My biceps and forearms threaten to splinter from the weight of my body and the speed of my jerky movements. Yeah, doing like proper push-ups when you've never done them before can be legit painful. I never realized just how badly out of shape I was. On your feet, you bipedal slugs! Okay, so this is not laughing, this is panting, okay. This guy, he ain't human. Some kind of primate, maybe? Close relative? I can feel my muscles hollering in pure agony as I force myself up from the gymnasium floor. By the time I'm back on my feet, my breathing is heavy, coming out and whistles. Now then, since it's only the first day of school, how about we have ourselves a good old game of dodgeball? Dude, take off your glasses immediately. Did he say dodgeball? Oh yeah, dodgeball time! Hello there! I shoot a glance towards the only enthusiastic dino next to me, who is absolutely elated by the prospect of the upcoming game. We only finished the warm-up and my muscles are already screaming. My knees shake, my lungs are burnt, and I'm so drenched in sweat that I'm sure I might need a shower after this. Yeah, it shows. I really don't want to play dodgeball. Aren't we lucky? First day of school and we get to play a game. I... I don't... I don't do dodgeball. Why not? I, uh... I'm not exactly... Alright, maggots, pick a side and keep the numbers even. This is a suicide match. And free for all, too. Damien, why don't you socialize by picking your teammates? Shades, you're on blue team! Wait, but why are the teams if it's free for all? Alright, I'm going with a human dude. Okay. It's like. It's like this dude's read, but 
without the drugs. Like he's just high on happiness or positive energy. Before I can figure out the rules for this dodgeball game, the Dilophosaurus wraps an arm around my neck and brings me to the side of the field. Oh, and one last thing. His leer and tone freeze me to the spot. What's the first rule? We only got one. Have fun? Oh, that side eye is... It does not bode well. Gang up on the weakest one! Wait, what? I told you, dude, hide your shades. In a matter of seconds, the jam amazing because a full blown battleground. Holy shit, we are going to die in here. I do my best to dodge the oncoming flurry of red rubber spears coming my way like bullets. I dive to the ground, avoiding the oncoming projectiles as they soar overhead and help my comrades. I hear the blows and the guttural groans of those who already succumbed to the onslaught of inflated orbs. Kind of crawling away from the field strong, I entrench myself along the edge of the field in the hopes of being ignored. Also doing the cult the cult voice. Kinda hurts my throat right now, but you know what, it was worth it. I cast my gaze to the rest of my allies and oh god! It's a full route, so in so come on. So, how's the first day of school treating you, bro? I look up to see the thin Dino, the same thing the Alakazaros who had dragged me to the side of the court, staring down at me and smiling. What do you think? I watch as he casually dodges an incoming ball before throwing his own. Name's Damien, by the way. Inko. Nice to meet you. You too, Crown Golden Frills! Who said that you two had time to talk? Does my gymnasium look like a debate stage? I mean, maybe we got some of those stairs from the auditorium, maybe. Oh, I love the sass. I know that is uncle that would make a really classy podium. Damien, you are fucking amazing in my book already. I look up at Damien with absolute bewilderment. What is this guy thinking? The coach looks like he's about to explode. Do not play smart with me, son! Keep your trap shut and eyes focused on the enemy! Damien just smiles and gives the coach a thumbs up, as we are in the middle of an active war zone. You got it, Mr. Sully. That's Coach Sully, dude! And what's the hold up, Shades? Just make yourself an easy target on the floor. Get up and play to win. Holy fuck, my throat hurts. Alright, yes, it's my time to do something of work. But I'm not exactly good at dodgeball. No, oh, maybe I can do the whole blocking thing for everyone. That should hopefully make it so that everyone isn't peeved at me for wasting the running shot. But here's where things change. You know, in a way I'm kinda envious of this oblivious self-confidence. Like really. I can totally turn this around. All is equal in the court. A ball aimlessly rolls on the floor in front of me, calling out to be my ammunition. I somehow weave through two shots at me and pick up the ball. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it now. I'm on fire, there's no way I'm losing now. Dude, don't clown around. I grab onto the ball and start blocking any shot that so much as crosses our side of the field. Yeah, I'm doing great. Block one. Block two. Block three. Now I'm really feeling it. Like I said, in a way... I'm kinda envious of the attitude. I bet everyone's looking at me now. Any thought of playing the game suddenly left my mind like it was never there. Who cares? Really, this is more than enough. Maybe throw the ball from time to time? I can be the... Hey, new guy! A new voice catches my attention. A crimson parasaurus. 
Think fast. Ooh. Right to the face. I told you, take the shades off, dude. The floor is cold. Maybe I shouldn't have come here at all. A pair of extremely dirty sneakers enter my field of view. You gonna get up, Shades? No, I give up. Ah. Did he fucking pelt us? Oh man, that hurts. How long was I out? I'm laying down on something soft. Where am I? Oh, I freaking love this shot. The neck. This is great. My vision clears and I sit up from the plastic bed. Sure is bright in here. Oh shit. They broke my sunglasses. That's what you get for getting into dodgeball with sunglasses on, dude. Lucky I brought my reserve pair. Okay. Much better. I stand from the rubber mattress, taking in the tiny room finally. All alone? Not even a school nurse or anything? Oh, there she is. Looks like she's attending to another student who has his snoots tucked in a cone. Huh. <laughs> Looking at a clock on the wall, it's already noon. That would explain the pounding headache. Finally awake, Shades. I sit rammered straight, the fear of God stricken into me once more. Calm yourself, cadet. You ate dirt pretty hard back there. Oh man, yeah. Wait, you did that? I did. Felt it you right in the back. Do you know why? Uh, because I messed up? Be more specific, kid. Because I couldn't be a good teammate and got hit in the face? Uh, wrong. It was after that. I don't... Nothing happened after that. No, you gave up. But I was doing well. You think so? I was blocking the balls and all. You weren't blocking anything. You were showing off. You found a single thing to do and started dancing around like a clown. You focused on the easy thing and gave up the real thing. You were so focused that you forgot to look around for a moment. And here you are. I know a defeated man when I see one. And there's no way in hell I'm letting a student of mine give up so easily. You know what, the dude might be freaking rough around the edges, but I appreciate the attitude. Like, it's rough, but it's helpful. It's the first period of the first day, and you're already given up. Either way, that's a pretty bad luck you ended up with. You gotta watch around some students, if you know what I mean. I blink a few times and recall the chick that yelled at me to catch, followed by pounding me in the face. That one, she's, uh... He chuckles to himself a bit. Oh, that smile is... Uncomfortably threatening. She's something alright. Yeah, look like the devil herself. Anyways, take the rest of the day off, kid. What? I'm telling you to go home. The principal gave the okay. I feel my head again. Another stab of pain. Am I really not good to go back to class? Wasn't I getting lectured about this just a few moments ago? Well, I don't want to give up so easy. No, you should go home to your thoughts. He scratches the back of his head, slightly embarrassed. Uh, right, about that. We tried calling him earlier. Couldn't reach him. I give a sad half-smile. Yeah, sounds about right. I can make it home fine on my own. He nods. When you get back, don't give up so easily. He calls the door to the nurse's office open. I nod and exit the office, 
Oh, Sully closing the door behind us. Oh, here's for tomorrow. A brown paper bag is shoved into my arms, along with my backpack. Peeking in, I see something blue and gold wrapped in plastic. If you hadn't been late, you could have changed into those. I, uh, thank you, sir. Next time, Shades, think fast, you got it? Yes, sir. His smile is positively unnerving. Now scram, cadet. I'm so glad he wasn't yelling. I don't think my throat would be able to handle that. Well, this is officially the worst day I've ever had. Correction, the worst day you've had so far. As my feet drag along the linoleum floor, I can't help but painfully think of all the failures of the past few hours. No thanks to a very prominent bump on the back of my head. Ow. I'm worse than everyone here, both on a creative and physical level. I don't really should be bothered by it, but I hate seeing just how far behind I am compared to everyone else. And I thought I'd make new friends. What was I thinking? Dude, you are quitting already. I stop and shake my head a bit. What the heck am I doing sulking like this? That's what I said. It's a bad first day, but it's just the first day. There's still the rest. I still met Ben and Damien. They're pretty cool. I'm not gonna let my optimism be ruined just because of a bad dodgeball match. Just you wait, St. Hammond. Today was a test run. Tomorrow's the real deal. Morning comes. Mm, okay, and looking at the time, I believe that's actually a pretty okay length for the first episode. So, with the transition to the next game, I'm actually going to wrap everything up over here. Gotta admit, that was a rather interesting intro to this school. Definitely way more violent than what one would expect from an art school. But I'm really curious where, where this stuff will go, especially when it comes to that uh, green girl, alligator. I'm really curious how we are going to bump into her and get to know her. But for now, there we go, the first save. And there we go, this is a wrap for today's episode. So I really hope that you enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Have a great one.